Hi everyone, my name is Justin and I am the creator of the program Audio Mint. So uh, let's see what it can do. So the first thing you have to do when you first open up the program is you just need to input your email and password. And you can create these on the website at zerebrix.com. And this remember me button will make it so that you don't have to keep inputting your username and password every time you want to use the program. So next time when I launch it, it'll just start up uh, without uh, asking me this information. All right, so to start, we have to drag in a sample. So I have this test sample put aside. I'm going to play it for you guys uh, as it is without me doing anything to it so you guys can hear what it sounds like before it's separated. You still wonder what you're thinking. You still wonder what you need. But then you'd have another drink and treat me like some therapy. And it's too late now. I'm gonna figure it out. I ain't here for your drama no more. Cause you're wasting my time. guys get the idea so before we continue with the separation let's look at what each of these buttons does so we have the standard open button which you, you could you could use this button to uh, select a sample from your files um, or you could just do it the way I did it in the beginning where I just dragged it in and we also have this button the scissors button uh, all the scissors button does is uh, it allows you to uh, select a sample to separate in case you don't want to separate the entire audio file and uh, you can play um, so that's a sample that we selected and uh, this button allows you to change uh, the output of the separation from stereo to mono. Now the reason why you might want to do that is because uh, the separator works better when you uh, when you allow it to separate uh, just when you allow it to output j just mono signals. Uh, however, uh, it will work fine with for stereo. So we'll just leave it as stereo for now uh, on this test sample. So uh, I guess I'll select this sample to test the separation on. And now uh, we wait for it to uh, separate. Uh, the first thing it does is it uploads. This, this part takes the longest. Now it starts separating. Separation's really fast. And uh, now it's downloading. So the downloading is uh, another part that takes a few minutes, or it could take up to a few minutes. Usually, generally speaking, it only takes about 30 seconds or so. All right, and now it's separated. So these sliders on the right, uh, they control uh, the, the gain of the uh, vocals and the background respectively. You can uh, double click these uh, sliders at any time to reset them back to zero. So let's see what the just the vocal sounds like now. But then you'd have another drink in. Treat me like some therapy. And it's too late now. Go on, figure it out. I ain't here for your drama no more. Cause you're wasting my time with the mess in your mind Bye-bye, it's time to go 
So as you can see, there is essentially no artifacts in the vocal, the isolated vocals. So now let's uh, give the just the background a shot. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe to support us. The link to our website is in the description below. You can reach us at uh, zerebrooks.com. And uh, I hope you all have a great day.